Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to go through the new setup process for the Asus routers or routers if you're in the UK. Um, basically the process has changed to make it much more secure now. Um, so this is a, a, an either an option when you've had to do a, a factory reset on your existing uh, Asus router for any reason. I know lately we've had to do one because of the latest security firmware update. But if you've been having issues and you've uh, decided to uh, factory default your router, you will get this screen as well. Um, but also, more importantly, if you've just bought a brand new Asus router, this is going to be the new setup process um, as of uh, August 2025. Um, so. What they're doing here is the new welcome screen. So before, what would happen is when you came to uh, set up your Asus router, it would be under uh, something called HTTP. So basically, that would be encrypted or secure. So if you were compromised in your network when you were setting this up, that they would be able to see um, in plain text or plain kind of uh, be able to readable. Uh, without anything special is basically your what you're typing in so the setup of your router so your passwords your wi-fi names and things like that so it wasn't very ideal if your your network was compromised people will be able to get that information as you set it up your new uh, router and of course as we know these are your gateway kind of to the internet for you um, but also for people to access as well so if it's compromised or it's got less secure then it's never a good thing so what you can see here is now the basis is the welcome to Asus router screen. This is the first screen when you come to type or use the app to log into the router. So on this one here, I'm using my desktop browser and you can see here I've typed in 192.168.50.1 into my browser. So you, you can use your tablet or your phone browser as well. So Safari, Chrome, Firefox or anything else that you use. Um, and basically you can go there, log in uh, and you'll see this same screen. So basically what it's saying here is that now uh, HTTPS is a relatively more secure uh, web access protocol. We strongly suggest to enter the Asus router settings page via this protocol. Please download the certificate. So download that certificate and install it in a trusted root certification authority store. So again, if you are using Windows or Mac, then when you download this this will open up further screens where you'll possibly have to enter your admin password um, and then if you're using your phones uh, then again you'll probably have to enter your either your uh, pin code or a password um, again depending on the device so basically it, it will make this asus router more trusted Again, if you don't install the uh, certificate, what you'll do is just you'll probably see in other devices that are using HTTPS for encryption. As you may come up with that, it's, it tries to access it and you'll get that little warning that says basically this uh, potentially could not be, um, may not be secure um, because it doesn't trust the certificate um, that's on your uh, router. Um, and so you can normally then click continue to site or uh, continue and it will just load up the web page under the uh, basically the encryption standard so I've, I've downloaded this as you can see here all you do is you just click on the certificate um, and it will download and uh, allow you to basically um, as you can see here it will be a, a cert.crt file and it's about 1.5 uh, megabytes I believe um, in size depending again on the router um, and then so you basically download that double click on it and then just follow the prompts uh, either Windows uh, Android iOS or anything like that and then to get it installed you do have a QR code that you can scan here and that will give you more details as well so if we click on here say click here to continue it may give you this warning so again it's saying here your connection is not private so it says when using HTTPS protocol your browser may show a certificate warning this connection to the Asus router settings page remains secure so basically what it's saying is the encryption is still uh, the connection is still encrypted but it doesn't know that certificate is 100% secure because all the Asus routers um, are going to have a generic certificate so there's no way they can have a, a custom one for each person's computer uh, uh, it'd be uh, very very difficult for them to do so again so it's just giving you that pre-warning here so if you just click on yes uh, here and as we said it, it's got there this connection is not uh, secure or private um, so it is secure it's still being encrypted so it's still much better to use this 
So again, um, you might get like this warning. So you click on advance and then click on proceed. Again, all it is is to round the certificate. It's not too sure about is if it trusts. And of course, we, we do because it's from the Asus router. But always make sure that your uh, web address at the top starts with HTTPS. So when you're setting up the router, it's all encrypted, this whole setup screen. So now you'll get the usual licenses and sign your life away kind of thing um, and privacy. So it's, this will ask you to go through this. Make sure you do so you understand everything that you're signing up for and you have to be over 16 years old and you click agree. Again, as we said here, there's your privacy notice. So this goes on about your uh, dynamic DNS services and all the other services they offer and the information that they may record and things like that. Again, make sure that you are over the age of 16 and you have to scroll the bottom just to identify that you agree to this policy. Then it will just now it'll flow onto the usual setup screen. So we, as we can see here, my one's particularly the BE98. You can have several languages here. So if you do speak another language, um, you've got all of these languages here. So you can choose to have that in there. So what I'm going to do now is click on the create a new network. So again, this is going to be from the very beginning. And this is one of the new kind of requirements now for your uh, for your router is around the password where it has to be 10 characters in length. Um, and that's including one letter, one special character, and one uh, number character. Um, and it should not have consecutive identical characters. Login, username and password should not be the same. So basically it's trying to uh, make it more secure um so you can do so when like in the demos i did before um when you have passwords with just the password it won't allow that kind of thing anymore again it's to make it much more secure and i think the latest update from asus has focused heavily on security because of some of the issues that the uh, attackers uh, or hackers have been um, targeting asus routers and some of their security so you can see here admin user and you can see for just for demo purposes you can see here the kind of password i put in here so characters at 90 so it's got to have a special character some numbers and it's got to be 10 characters there so if i just click on next and you can see it again just a custom uh, router name here you've got so if we click on next you can see here now it's starting to detect my connection type um, so it should automatically do this. If it doesn't, you do have a manual setting here where you can actually set up your uh, internet connection manually. Um, so that's quite good. So you can see here. So now it's saying the WAN auto detection function will be disabled. Please make sure that your WAN cable is correctly plugged in um, and you can choose your port. So you can choose the 10 gig. Um, and again, this will be different. So you do have an option for the tethering as well. If so, if you've got a 4G or 5G uh, dongle, again, be careful of this is that they're quite temperamental on which specific uh, USB dongle that you actually plug in or your phone. Um, so just be making sure that it's on the Asus list as well of compatible devices. But most mobile phones, if you are tethering your mobile phone, uh, it's ever USB dongle, then they should uh, work as well. Uh, and again, you have to, depending on the Android or iOS, you have to uh, set up different settings there. But again, I've got previous videos. So just go into my channel and just do a search. Um, so again, you can just go here. So you can just choose which port it's on. So we can just say from this instance, we can say here. And then you can go along here and actually choose what your kind of option is. So you've got automatic and everything else. So again, your it, this should come up automatically. If it doesn't, like in my case, then you do have the option to actually go in. So mine will be under here for PBO, but you might have automatic because you've got another, your ISP Comcast or something like that, um, or another router in front um, of yours already uh, that doesn't, um, that you just want to get an automatic IP. You do have in certain circumstances, a special requirements. So if you would need a VLAN, so if you're on city fiber in the UK or um, EE on some of the others that are using uh, different network fiber networks, you might need to set up a specific one around your VLAN. So that will be the option you can as well. So if we just go for automatic IP for now, and now it's going to go on to ask for your different networks. So as mine is a BE98, so I've got all these multiple networks. You might have just two and five gigahertz um, or two, five and six um, and things like that. You can here, it's automatically defaults to separate them out. 
you can choose if you prefer just having one and then the router intelligently basically finds when the device connects it will see what kind of device it is and intelligently swap it to either the two the five or the six gigahertz bands as well so we, again we can just put on here and again make this secure um, again you shouldn't be using like we, we're doing here keep your admin password your network Wi-Fi password totally different it shouldn't be the same at all um, and again if you click on separate you can put separate passwords and your network names out you might want to in the circumstance here where you separate them out is if you've got kind of performance devices so for your old legacy devices um, you want them just to connect to the 2.4 um, and then the five on the first five gigahertz band, you want only like your gaming, like your PlayStation, your Xbox and everything connected. And then on the six, all the newer devices that are Wi-Fi 6C or Wi-Fi 7 to connect. So you can separate them out and you can identify any trouble uh, shooting much easier. Again, for most home users, you might just prefer just having this as basically your default kind of uh, um, option. So the children and you can just, uh, basically connect to one uh, name on the network and let the router do the work and everything else and over time the the basically the router has got better so um, at doing natural selection so you can rely on it so you can see here again then it move on it'll say this is basically another network because I've got this uh, BE98 um, or the newer Asus routers uh, you have the option here where it will set up basically a IOT network so what it does here, this is for better compatibility of Wi-Fi 7 and is recommended for creating a separate network for your Internet of Things devices or legacy. So this is where for very old devices um, or things where you want to separate them out. So you want to have a separate network so they can't communicate with other devices. There might be things like your smart plugs um, that are like of a cheaper brand. And you're not too sure if they're going to start doing random things or there might be you never get a firmware update from them um, then you can put this onto a separate network you can choose maybe later so you don't have to have that set up now um, but it's always feasible that you set this up and then put your older devices on if you do want to so i just leave that off for now um, and then click apply this should be your last kind of setting that you need to set up so now it'll go ahead and set up your wi-fi kind of network again it'll go through here take a note of all the details that you've set up uh, so you can see here that your wi-fi and then the password again don't use the same password like i have for the network and for your wi-fi because if once if they get either one they can log into both so always uh, keep them separate you give it probably five to ten minutes for it to show up on, on your devices and then basically you can then uh, connect to the your router as usual and set up all your devices on there so this has just been a quick overview of the actual uh, new setup uh, through uh, asus and making it much more secure now so all of this setup has been done over uh, basically https encryption so even if your network is compromised then most of the time people won't be able to see you setting up your passwords and everything else and your details for your isp I hope you've enjoyed this video and again uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll uh, try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and have a great day.